Well, I'm, I'm the country manager of Visa in Australia. I've been in the industry for somewhere between 18 to 20 years. 18 years uh, of that 20 year uh, lifespan uh, with Visa alone uh, in Australia. And I've changed my roles all the way from product management to business development sales and now looking after the entire business in Australia. Well, I think um, uh, there is a lot happening in the mobile um, uh, industry. Uh, there's a lot happening in the payment industry as well and uh, fortunately the two uh, sides of the innovation are colliding uh, in, in the payment industry near the where the customer is. Um, so in the, in the mobile space of course we're seeing a huge upsurge and take up of smartphones. Um, I think the industry sources will confirm that 60% of all mobile phones in Australia are now smartphones. Uh, on the other side, on the payment side, we're seeing, and by the way, sorry, just on that 60% of those smartphones, uh, more and more are now being converted to support an NFC, which is a near field uh, communication, which is the contactless interface. In the payment industry, of course, we've gone from being a MagStripe based uh, society to a chip uh, based uh, payment um, environment to more recently a contactless uh, environment. So the timing is perfect for us to sort of take a mobile device which has the contactless capability and the consumer trend and the merchant trend in the payment industry which is already moving to contactless and bring the two things together. So the, the natural evolution of course for us now is to take the contactless card which is a piece of plastic today onto a mobile phone. So, so PayWave is already gaining a lot of momentum uh, in Australia. Um, I think we're seeing a double-digit month-on-month growth in the, in, the, in the number of transactions on, on PayWave, uh, which suggests to me that consumers and merchants like to see more and more contactless transactions because of speed and convenience of, of these contactless transactions. At the same time, we've been doing lots of uh, development in terms of taking that experience on a mobile device. The question was, how do we go about it? Do we, do we deal with all our telecom uh, mobile network providers, uh, the three telcos in Australia, uh, and or we go with the handset manufacturer and try to build that capability in the handset. So we've taken an approach where we're saying we can't decide where the telecom industry will go and therefore we need to work with both partners. We need to work with our telecom operators to provide a SIM based environment and we also need to work with our handset manufacturers such as Samsung who could embed that PayWave contactless functionality in the mobile device. So that's where we're working with, with Samsung to make sure that every new generation Samsung which is the Galaxy 4 generation comes out with a built-in Visa PayWave application in the handset. Well, there is a huge shift from carrying cash and using cash um, to using contactless payments, particularly in a smaller value transaction. But I think it's also true in any uh, transaction, frankly. And if that's where the consumers are going, then the retailers need to embrace that change. Now, there are some real inherent benefits for retailers as well in, in accepting contactless payments, such as speed and, and efficiency and convenience for themselves as well. So it's a win-win, really. And I think my advice to retailers would be that you know this change is a, is a positive change. We should embrace this change and start to make sure that we accept uh, the new forms of payment for, to, to make life easier for our consumers. Well, look, there are some fundamentals that would not change in future, such as um, the three types of account that we have today, pay before, pay now, pay after. Pay before is prepaid, pay now is debit, and pay after is credit card. Uh, so those accounts will still remain. Uh, however, the way consumers pay, both in a face-to-face -face environment as well as an online environment, will start to change. In face-to-face, -face, we're seeing contactless and mobile payments. We will also start to see online payments in a face-to-face -face environment. So that's, so that's where the lines will start to blur between what is face-to-face -face and what's online. And I think as a retailer, I would be certainly advising retailers to, to embrace that change again and see how they can make that, make that sort of step forward in terms of uh, creating a new sort of digital retail environment. In online space, we will continue to see an upsurge of, um, of online transaction and we are now also working on a digital wallet a concept where the consumers don't have to carry their card details and fill forms when they're shopping online. 
particularly with the small screen mobile phone, uh, all they have to do is just press one button and it's a frictionless one click shopping experience. So I think the, the shopping experience will start to get better uh, for consumers both in online as well as in face to face environment as well as we'll start to see additional value being added to the experience before shopping and after shopping. So before shopping such as research about pricing, best value, where to buy, when to buy and after shopping being offers and alerts and all sorts of new rewards and loyalty sort of schemes.